everyone. This tutorial will show you how to use your CoughDrop account and pair that with some tools in Canva to create speech boards that also connect with a QR code to a digital version of the speech board. Recently, CoughDrop released a file called Communication Everywhere that included several boards that have a QR code at the bottom so that people can scan the code and reach the same version of the digital board um, on a digital device. So you could print this board and post it for this one at a playground, or maybe you wanted to do one in the lunchroom or the library or your classroom or at home, a car, um, wherever you wanted to post it. And then you can also have that QR code available so that a communicator or a supporter could scan that code and reach the digital version of this speech board within CoughDrop. One of the nice parts about that is that you can see this keyboard button down in the bottom corner of this uh, light tech board, but on the digital board, that will actually connect to a keyboard and allow you some additional options. You could also customize this board in your own set um, so that you could have secondary boards that were linked and things. So it's, this just gives you a chance to connect a light tech board to a high tech board so that they can work in tandem for someone's communication. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that today. So here we are back in CoughDrop where I've already designed this speech board. You can start from scratch and create a new board. You could come to your sidebar here, or excuse me, to your um, drop down menu here and just choose to create a brand new board from scratch if you wanted to do that. Or you can use a board that you've already created and that's just fine. But the first step is to create the board that you want to use. This particular speech board that um, I've decided to use has a number of core vocabulary words that stay consistent through that board set that I showed you before so that the core stays the same. These are some commonly used words that come up fairly regularly. And then there are also some fringe words that relate to the different situations. But as I said, you can use any speech board um, to, to do this particular function. So um, when I'm in a speech board, uh, I'm going to need a copy of this board so that I can add this to the file that I'm creating within Canva. One of the easiest ways to do that is to just take a screenshot of the speech board and then you can edit and adjust it as needed. So I'm just going to hit the print screen button on my keyboard and um, that's going to allow me to save this screenshot so that I can use it later. If you want a little bit better um, file or a little bit uh, larger file, better images for that, you can actually use the option to print the board. Uh, you can choose whether or not to have a vocalization box at the top. I don't want to print the full board set. I just want to print this individual board. So I'm going to tell the program, go ahead and, and prepare that for printing. This will give me a PDF version of the speech board that I can then download. And then I can use um, another program like uh, maybe Paint or even uh, you know something like that so that I can create this board. So I can open this board for printing. You can see here we have a high quality version of the board. I can hit the print button here. Instead of printing it on a printer, I can tell the program I want to save this as as a PDF and then I can um, use that version when I'm when I'm creating these files but right now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to use the the screen capture that I took before so now I'm going to come into Canva and I've already opened up a document that I'm going to create here. If you have Canva Pro, you can resize your document at any time. So whatever you're going to print, you can adjust the size to fit your specific needs. If you don't, don't worry. There are lots of templates that are free to pull up. You can pull up any template that's going to be the size. Look for something that's probably eight and a half by 11 if you're just going to print it on regular paper. And then you can delete anything else that happens to be on there when you find something that's that size. Um, so I'm going to come into this document and I am just going to um, paste in what I have screen sh the screenshot that I have of this particular image and now I'm going to trim it down because I don't want all that stuff from the top as part of my image so I'm going to take that screenshot and I'm going to put it where I want on the page. Um, if you have done the printer version, you'll have a little bit different dimensions. So that may fit a little bit better in what you're working on, or you may just want to, you know, you can adjust this and, and tweak things to fit as, as needed within your specific file. But I'm just going to use this particular screenshot just to make things easy. And then I'm going to save this, um, or I'm going to add this to my, my Canva file that I'm creating. Once I've got this pasted in, or once you've uploaded, um, I should show you that too, that if you have saved your, your image on your device, you can tell the program that you want to upload a new file, and that will let you search your um, 
your device for the files, or you can come over here and choose something that um, you've already uploaded, which is what I, you can see those boards that um, I showed you before. They're already uploaded here, so I could pick one of those and add those to the page if uh, that's what I would rather do. So maybe I'll go ahead and remove the one that I had here just to kind of show you how this would work. And I think we were using the bus one, so I'll just keep with that and I'll say, let's go ahead and add that. So here's the, oh, added it twice on accident. There we go. So here's Here's the bus version of that board, and I'll just pop that in. Um, it's a little big, so maybe we'll put it there. There we go. So now I have that version of the speech board that's available on my file that I'm using. Now we want to be able to add the digital link or the connection to a digital option for this particular speech board. So what I'm going to do is going to come back into CoughDrop and I'm going to highlight the URL at the top of the screen um, here. So this is the connection. This is where I can link to this board. You'll need to make sure that your speech board has been shared publicly, that it's, you know, using a QR code to open it is not going to do any good if your board is private. So if you need to make that adjustment, you can come into edit, then go to more and edit name and details. And here you can choose the visibility of your board. You can choose private or public or enlisted. I tend to do a lot of my boards um, that will be shared with other people as public, but you're welcome to um, adjust that as, as you deem appropriate. If the board is private, um, you can still link a QR code to it, but only people who have been given access, who have had this board shared with them, will be able to view it through the QR code. Everybody else will get an error message that says they don't have access to that board. So you most likely want to set your board as um, public so that people can scan the QR code and then reach that um, within CoughDrop. So now that we've copied the URL that was at the top of the page, we're going to come back into Canva and we're going to go down here to the apps section. So I'm going to use an app to create a QR code. So I'm just going to put in QR here. And I happen to know that this one works really well, the one that just says QR code. So I will select that. Here I can paste Control-V my uh, URL that I copied from CoughDrop into um, this, this space. And then I'm going to tell the program, go ahead and generate a QR code for me. And here is a QR code that will now link to this speech board. And I can place that wherever I like or resize it or adjust it as needed. Um, maybe I then want to add a text box of some sort and say this QR code will take you to the digital board. Um, I can add some instructions or some information about this board or what should happen as you're using this down at the bottom. Maybe you want to add a logo for your school or your group um, so that this kind of becomes a customized and personalized version. But this is just a really simple way to create a printable speech board, so a light tech version that will also connect to the high tech version. Um, once you have your board set up and designed the way that you want it, don't forget to name it, but um, so let's call this QR code board. And then you can come and share the board. You can download it um, so that you could put this file somewhere that could be accessible by others. Uh, you could share the file with other people if you're going to maybe print this to display in a different room or on a playground or in the bus as, as this one is set up. Um, but this allows you to reach that QR code, or excuse me, that speech board by scanning the QR code and be able to kind of connect to the light tech and high tech versions. I hope that's helpful as you're moving forward in your school year or at home or wherever you're using AAC. Um, we strongly encourage you to support communication in every way that you can, whether it's AAC or sign or verbal speech or otherwise, all communication counts. Communication is about connection and we want to support that in every way we can. Best of luck as you move forward. Thanks.